Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale, or RAS, is a validated, evidence-based tool employed in the assessment of sedation and agitation in critically ill patients. By providing a standardized measure, it assists intensivists in optimizing patient care, guiding therapeutic interventions, and monitoring patient responses over time. The RAS scale ranges from minus 5 to plus 4 and assesses the level of agitation or sedation in critically ill patients, with negative scores representing various levels of sedation and positive scores indicating increasing levels of agitation. A score of zero signifies that the patient is fully alert and exhibit a calm demeanor. This is the desired state in most clinical situations, where the patient is awake, aware, and not agitated or sedated. Scores from minus 1 to minus 4 represent varying degrees of conscious sedation. A score of minus 1 indicates that the patient is not fully alert, but has sustained awakening with eye contact, lasting for more than 10 seconds. A score of minus 2 indicates light sedation, where the patient briefly makes eye contact in response to voice. At score of minus 3, the patient is moderately sedated and is marked by movement or eye opening, but not eye contact in response to voice. Finally, a score of minus 4 indicates a deep sedation, where the patient only has minimal response to a touch or painful stimulus. A deeper level of sedation is indicated at a RAS score of minus 5 where the patient is entirely unresponsive. This means that even after a noxious stimulus, such as a deep sternal rub or pinching, the patient does not show any reaction or response. This represents the deepest level of sedation, where the patient appears to be in a coma-like state, not reacting to any external stimuli. On the other side, scores from plus 1 to plus 4 represent increasing levels of agitation. A score of plus 1 indicates that the patient is anxious, restless but not aggressive. At plus 2, the patient is agitated and exhibits frequent non-purposeful movement or is verbally aggressive. A score of plus 3 shows that the patient is very agitated, pulling or removing tubes or catheters, or is physically aggressive. The most severe level of agitation is represented by plus 4, where the patient is overtly combative, violent, and poses immediate danger to staff, self, or others. In general, a RAS score of minus 1, minus 2, or minus 3 is indicative of light sedation, where the patient can react to verbal stimulation. This level of sedation is suitable for conducting the CAM ICU evaluation. Conversely, a RAS score of minus 4 or minus 5 represents deep sedation, which requires assessment through tactile or noxious stimuli. To attain an accurate RAS score, you should initially observe the patient, and assign a score of zero if the patient is calm, alert, and awake. If the patient is agitated, assign a score between plus one to plus four, based on the agitation level, plus one for anxiety without aggression, plus two for frequent movement or fighting the ventilator, plus three for pulling on tubes or showing aggression, and plus four for violent behavior. If the patient is not awake, provide verbal stimulation, like calling their name and evaluate the response. Assign a score minus 1 if eye contact is made for over 10 seconds, minus 2 if it's less than 10 seconds, and minus 3 if there's movement or eye opening without eye contact. If there's no response to voice, apply a physical stimulation by gently shaking the patient. Assign a score of minus 4 if they react, and minus 5 if there's no reaction at all. The RAS score should be completed at a minimum of every 4 hours, and additionally as needed with titration of sedation infusions or administration of PRN sedation. Start by determining the current RAS assessment score, then establish the RAS goal, such as minus 1 or minus 2 for light sedation. If the current score doesn't meet the goal, adjust sedation level up or down to achieve the goal. Reassess the RAS score to ensure adequate sedation. Thank you for completing this step and see you in the next presentation on the sedation strategies.